Hello and welcome to the Sandbrook Adventures, where it's time for a bit of a home update, a home vlog, something that we've not actually done for quite some time. We've been really busy over the past month or so, visiting lots of different theme parks and attractions over on Theme Park Worldwide. Uh, we've got a bit of a breather today and we thought, you know what, let's take you a bit of an update, it's all around the house. So we have had <laughs> a brand new bed, we have had a super king bed, we are <laughs> so excited about this bed, we are so happy that we've got one. It's amazing. We've actually had it for a few weeks now and we've had some beautiful sleeps in it. And of course, we had our bed before, which we were really happy with. It was nice, but we just wanted something bigger, didn't we, Charlotte? We did. The, the double just wasn't enough. We needed something much bigger. Yeah, so uh, what we've done, we've actually kept the double and what was just the office in the front room, we've now turned into an office and also a second bedroom. Uh, so we're going to show you that. And also, this bed is quite special as well. So we'll uh, go on to that in just a minute when we uh, go and have a little look upstairs. Uh, now, now, along with that, we've also got some brand new electric bikes. Now, if you've watched the channel in the past, you'll know that uh, we do love cycling. And uh, since moving house, since moving out of my parents, and of course moving in with Charlotte, we didn't actually own our own bikes, did we? So we are so happy to finally have some bikes because me and Sean love cycling around. So we're so happy that we've got bikes again. Now we've gone for the electric bikes once again, mainly because you still get your exercise on an electric bike. It's not too much cheating, <laughs> uh, but also it does help you along. And in like an hour, you can do like 12, okay. 13 miles, instead of just doing a couple of miles like you do on a normal bike. So you're still getting your exercise in, uh, but it's about just seeing a bit more and making it a bit more of an exciting ride. And we're going to be doing some cycling videos on the channel um, this summer. So stay tuned for that. But uh, yeah, we're also doing a few little bits in the garden. Um, I've done like some pressure washing, done some painting, just to make everything look nice and fresh, ready for the summer. Now we made no changes or anything to the living room down here, but I thought we might as well give you a bit of an updated look at it for Why those of you that didn't see our house when we first moved in. But yeah, no changes down the living room. Quite minimal, just how we like it really, isn't it? We just like stuff to be so easy maintenance, which is perfect for us when we're on the go. We do so much travelling that we just want it to be nice and easy. But uh, of course, we are getting married this summer as well, which is really exciting. So I think we're going to probably change that picture uh, up on the wall to a lovely photo from the wedding, I think. That would be perfect. So that is the plan for that one. We'll put that into storage we're not going to get rid of it it will go into storage it's nice that's our only real like subtle theme park reference with the uh, shambhala just there in the background and uh yeah out here we've uh, done no changes other than oh, i think we've had some new placemats haven't we there we go since uh since we did the last video it's been a while since the house tour and then of course we'll head into the garden after and uh, yeah, we've stained it all, pressure washed and just made it ready for the summer. I think we had a new clock actually as well since, uh, since last time. The other one, um, I kept knocking it because at Christmas obviously we do all the decorations. I kept knocking it um, because the, the hands were actually just there on the outside. There was no glass covering them or anything. Uh, so I went for this one and just brought a bit of pink into here as well with the clock and um, also just down there as Talking well. Talking of pink, I did actually go out and buy you a cake earlier. Oh, that's pretty I've kind. eaten mine. Look at that. We love these. So these split donuts, like they've got all cream in, they've got jam on, and they're from our local bakery, the uh, Bird's, Bird's Bakery. Uh, now, of course, love a good Greg's and stuff, but Bird's, when it comes to cakes, so good, aren't they, Charlotte? That's some new branding with the boxes, and these are just so nice. Like before, it was just the logo, whereas now you've got the little details. Quite nice, they are. Brilliant. Yeah, they're not too expensive either, either. The spit donuts. £1.20 or something. Yeah. Like that. It's not too bad at all. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, they're uh, like a, a local bakery just in this area, so you know. Nice. So, yeah, let's have a little look upstairs. Da, 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 da. Up we go. Should we go into the other bedroom first? Yeah, yeah, there we go. I'll show you where the original bed has gone. This da, is where da, da, da. big changes were because obviously the desk used to be over this side. Yeah. And then we had lot sort of nothing over this side, whereas now we've got a bed over this side and we've moved the desk over. Yeah, so I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. So this was our main bed, which, uh, you know, is a nice bed. It's very comfortable, but it just wasn't bigger enough for us, you know, so we decided to put that in here. And also for me, being quite tall, this actually was a bit of an issue. And you don't know until you buy a bed, dear. But uh, unfortunately, my feet were knocking onto this down here. Um, you know, and my feet were literally coming onto this. So not very comfortable, uh, unfortunately, with that. I mean, the rest of the bed, lovely, but this at the bottom was an issue. Charlotte was all right. That was absolutely fine. It was so comfortable, <laughs> but it just wasn't big enough. But really now this is perfect because we've got a guest bed for when people stay over um, so it's perfect really yeah it's ideal you know to have a bit of a change around with the pictures yeah initially that was the office all over on that side uh, and now the office is just over here and I actually prefer it on this side like, it's nice you know we've got the blinds open looking out plenty of uh, natural light coming in uh, and then also got the uh, play buttons 
Just at the top there as well. I don't think I've actually showed this. I managed to get a figment popcorn bucket and I was so, so pleased with this. So here he is, the figment popcorn bucket. From Walt Disney World in Florida. Ears. One of our friends actually got us one of these. So it's like figment's mini ears, <laughs> which is so sweet. Oh. Love that. Yeah, it's ideal. Like we've got like the washing line down there as well. You know, like the clothes horse. That is it, isn't it? Clothes it horse. Is a clothes horse. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you, you put that up down in here as well. So yeah, it's a nice little space. Space. Yeah, and then we've got like the books over there, um, all our kind of, you know, financial things and everything. It's all nice and organized and the drone is up there as well. But uh, all my camera equipment, microphones and everything. You know, I'm really pleased with this. Like we had it organized before, but um, it's just a, a really nice space now. So yeah, I'm happy with it. Spare bedroom, guest room in here. And uh, yeah, it's ideal. Right, let's make our way now into the main bedroom. No change in the bathroom or anything like that. Like I so said, we just keep it quite, you know, I wouldn't say plain, but it's just nice and just neutral, really. Here's the new bed! Wow, look at this. We are so pleased. Oh, the bed is amazing. Now, I, I measured up because obviously, you know, the, the bedroom's a good size, but it's not massive. I just wanted to make sure we could definitely fit a Super King in because we didn't know, like, until I measured it, and we thought, actually, we can fit it in. So if you remember, we had some white um, little units on each side of the bed just over there. And they're now gone. We've actually... Uh, Used them. One was in the spare room in there, you just seen. Another one's in Charlotte's wardrobe, and um, just was putting bits in. And then we've got these new little units. So these were from uh, Argos, and yeah, these are quite nice because obviously, you know, you've got some shelves on the inside, a little shelf for like your phone and a water at night, and then we've kept the existing lamps. And all the pink is lovely now because we've got this lovely pink uh, headboard. We've kept the picture at the back, um, the cushions and everything. And this is an amazing bed, isn't it, Charlotte? <laughs> this is perfect. It's like what we did originally is because we was quilt hogging, we actually had <sighs> Super King bedding and Super King sheets already on the bed that was in there. Yeah. So really we could reuse it, but this was perfect. Like the good thing was with the bed, it all came down like flat pack. The men built it up, which was brilliant. And the mattress, we've had a different type of mattress where it's not like springs yeah it's like so a we, memory foam style mattress isn't and it so we could get it up the stairs that's what we needed but the mattress is so so comfortable i can't remember now what the the company that did the mattress eve mattresses eve mattress yeah, yeah i believe it was eve so it completely like folds and bends in all different directions so it was much easier to get up the stairs yeah it's one of them initially where you get on it and you think oh yeah it's quite hard but then you sink into it after like 20 seconds you really sink so in cool. and, and it's great i mean the camera doesn't do it justice like you know i've always wanted a super king mm. and it's just perfect for us now because we've got so much room <laughs> and there you go charlotte it's can just chill excellent it's brilliant we're very pleased now of course it's a great bed you know an it amazing is. bed but there's something really special now with this you can actually have it in two options you can just have it as a normal bed like this or you could have it as an ottoman they call it where the storage underneath now normally of course you know you'd have um little drawers down here at the side but obviously you know we're quite limited with space we can get down here quite fine but not enough to open drawers so this bed it's quite special as we'll let uh you're right lifting it yeah, are you yeah charlotte will demonstrate yeah. wow. wow look at that so it lifts all this is amazing like you can actually fit in there um and there you go that is all storage down there i mean as you can see we've got loads it's mostly all the stuff for the wedding that we've got yeah, uh, stored at the moment basically everything's covered up because we've got so much wedding stuff under there we want to keep under wraps but it's this has been perfect for storing stuff it has been fantastic like there's so much space yeah everything's in there for the wedding so after the wedding to be honest this will just be like for sheets maybe yeah, a few like holiday clothes and things that we don't need in the wardrobe we can put down here um but this is amazing and the good thing is it's got the springs um it's really nice and easy to, to lift up and down so yeah it's kind of comes in the two parts it's joined together it's like two sections but i am really really happy um, with this it did cost a bit extra to have this option but it was worth it and then it's so easy to put down isn't it so as well you just put your hands in the middle and you just pull it down and it's down yeah that's it it just pushes back Excellent. into place you don't need to press any buttons or anything like that so we if you're interested in a bed like this yourself we got it from uh, benson's for beds uh it's not a sponsorship <laughs> or anything <laughs> you know uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah it cost a fortune but it's a lovely bed and yeah it was really good from benson's for beds come in loads of different colors and stuff and uh, if you're looking for a bed with storage this is the one i mean you know i didn't even know they did ones like that no like we went we literally went into benson's for beds and we was like <laughs> yeah we're really happy with this bed and there was like do you want the storage? And we originally thought, oh, it would just be drawers underneath. So we was like, no, it's, it's fine. We haven't really got the space. And he was like, watch this. And it opened and me and Sean's face was like, 
Wow, that is fantastic. It was a great moment. So was. that was it. That sold it to me then. <laughs> you know, and then I looked at the cost and thought, oh, we'll still go it's for it. it but uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So please. there you go. A bit of an update on the inside of the house with what we've done. We've now got a guest bedroom. We've still got the office space. And then we've got this wonderful Ottoman Super King, which we're really pleased about. So uh, yeah, we'll make our way outside, show you a bit of the garden, and also have a look at these new electric bikes because we've got some uh, cycling videos coming up. Right then, out in the garden, and it's not really nice and sunny today, but the weather's been all right this past week or so, so I thought I'll crack on before we get, hopefully, the really nice sunshine over summer and uh, get the garden all prepared, because the worst thing is, uh, if you get some nice weather, if you're just working all the time in the garden, isn't it? Like staining fences, mm. and if you've got a lawn mowing that, and that sort of thing. Uh, so I thought, let's get all that done early, so if we do get some nice weather, and we're in this country, mm. we can just relax and enjoy the garden. So, uh, literally got the pressure washer on all the decking I mean it's been about a year and a half since all this was put Looks in great. So, yeah it's looking really good now so just uh, pressure washed all that um, it took about 90 minutes something like that just to pressure wash it but that's looking really good obviously we haven't got to worry about the real grass because we've got the fake stuff down here and then all the uh, all the stones but again it's just for easy maintenance for us and all the traveling that we do uh, as much as i really do like a, a real lawn uh, we might have that at some point in the future here and based on what we do at the moment and all the traveling this is ideal because it's just such a an easy maintenance garden really pressure washed all the furniture as well that's the thing you know when you're uh, here in the uk who without weather Literally, you know, things just get covered in green moss like, all do. the time. So I thought, let's uh, let's do that and make it look a lot better. So uh, yeah, pressure washed all that, restained the fence over there, and then the biggest thing was uh, restaining all of the shed down there at the bottom. So yeah, I did that recently, and it's looking pretty good. I mean, it's really it's, good, especially the barn shed. That was uh, yeah, looking really <laughs> quite green, and a lot of it had flaked off. Um, so I've done all of that, uh, and it's looking really good. So now I'm really pleased with it. And then another little addition that we've done just over here, he's added some nice little mirrors on the wall. So this is like the nice little relaxation corner. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, we got this set up in last year, to be honest, we didn't spend that much time actually sat enjoying it, did we? With, no, with, with the weather. With the weather that we had. But uh, yeah, so I thought, instead of it just looking like a bit of a, a, a bland corner, I'll just get these and put them up on the wall just to make it uh, look a bit nicer. And I've moved these planks out to the side and uh, yeah. That's it, that little garden update, but just repainted things, just made it look uh, really nice, ready for the summer. But uh, yeah, I'll show you the uh, the new bikes now, because these are great, and we've already took them out for a bit of a spin, haven't we, Charlotte? We have, they're riding so well. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look. So I've sorted out all the storage shed just over here as well, so all the tools are now on this middle shelf. The top shelf up there is reserved for all the cushions um, that you've just seen on the outdoor set. Uh, just because, you know, they are semi-waterproof, uh, but I thought it's better just protecting them. I mean, with the weather we've been getting, um, keep them out of the rain. And then this has got the bikes at the bottom. And up until literally a couple of weeks ago, I still had bits of spare wood in here and um, nails and all that sort of stuff. So I cleared it all out. I've stained it all around the side as well. And this is the perfect place for the bike. So instead of showing you them in here, I'll uh, bring them out and let's have a little look. And here we go then. Here's a look at the Carrera electric bike. So this is mine. Of course, we've got one each and they're both slightly different, both from Carrera. Um, but here we go. So firstly, unlike the one that I had before, uh, this is a nice light frame um, that you can pick it up. Wow! You know, nice and easy just there. I think we can go for one hand as well. Wow. There you go. So it gives you a bit of an idea. And in typical British fashion, oh, it's, it's just, just started, started to rain. To rain. <laughs> so yeah, we've got this. Now this is the battery pack just here. You can do between 25 to 30 miles um, on the electric bike just here but the good thing is with these with them being a light frame if the battery was to die it's not the end of the world because you can still pedal um, quite nicely on these then ones that I had before they were really difficult to pedal and uh, so I've already done a couple of trips on these but uh, and of course we'll explain this more when we go and do a cycling vlog and show you all the settings and things but that's where you turn it on and then you get all like your different speeds you got like a sport mode you've got the eco mode which is the one where you get the most exercise mm. really uh, you leave it in eco and you're not, your battery's not mm. going to die as much um but they're really good aren't they charlotte yeah they're really good really comfortable great bikes yeah they are and then i'll, I'll get on it just here for you. here we go okay, let me come back a bit <laughs> and see you on it that's it I won't wow. cycle around the garden. No. But, uh, yes, I'm really pleased with this. Vengeance it is as well. So my <laughs> favourite coaster, Steel Vengeance. So yeah, we've got these good brakes on here. And uh, overall, the great bikes. I'm like, really, really pleased with them. And the battery is fantastic. I mean, we actually picked them up from um, Ashbourne, which isn't too far away from us. Uh, it was about an 11 mile ride. So we literally did the 11 miles and there were still loads of battery left. Which was brilliant. It was like two out of five bars. 
which I'm really pleased about. But uh, yeah, the rain's coming in. Let me oh, get no. the other bag out while Hey, here she is. So this is the lady version of this bike. So this is silver. I have got my slippers on. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just so comfortable to sit on, which is great. And brilliant bikes, really pleased with them. Don't worry, Charlotte doesn't cycle with her uh, slippers on. No, I don't. I don't, I don't <laughs> cycle with my slippers We've got some uh, nice new helmets as well. We'll, we'll show you them when we go and do our first cycling video. But this is nice. I like the little green on the wheels today. You see, they've had a bit of uh, use. Not too much yet, <laughs> but a little bit of mud on there. I mean, we're not going to be going like, off-roading and stuff with them it's more just um cycling around the local roads and we'll probably cycle up to alton towers and stuff sometimes oh, and just around the local area really you know just uh taking it all in if you remember during the lockdown on theme park worldwide a few years ago i cycled up and did like the chain oak i cycled to alton towers and do a lot of cycling. i've missed it this past yeah, year you know I love cycling. it's so much fun it's nice to be in the outdoors as well other than going to center parks like we didn't go on a bike for like ages you know yeah, so I'm really pleased with these. Um, we got them from Halfords, and they're about 800 and something pounds per bike. So they're not cheap, but like I say, you know, if you look after them and keep them out of the rain and, well, indoors, we don't leave them outside to rust, you know, all the time. Um, then, then they're going to last for a long time. I mean, the ones we had before, mum and dad have got them now, and they've lasted about 15 years so far. So uh, a worthwhile investment. It gets us out, gets us cycling. And uh, Charlotte's bike's slightly smaller, actually. I think this might be 18 inch. Yeah. And then mine's 20. So, yeah. uh, I'm pretty sure it was that, just because it's a lady's bike, it's just a little bit smaller. Uh, but it's nice and comfortable. Like, I'm, very I'm very pleased with them, and battery pack's on there. With these, you can either plug them straight in here. Obviously, we've got some outdoor sockets there, and I've got a lead running round into the storage area for them. Um, so you can either plug it straight in there, or you can remove the battery and put them inside and when it's colder I mean we'll take the battery off and have them inside when it's like freezing temperatures and I mean we're not going to be cycling when it's really cold are we over winter um, more just a nice kind of summer activity well there you go got our new electric bikes the garden's looking nice and fresh we just need this rain to stop now don't we <laughs> hey there's a buttworm in there as well you see him looking at the bikes <laughs> So there we go, a nice little home update for you all. And we thought, you know, we've not done loads of new things, of course, since the initial move in. I just thought, let's tie it all together, show you what we've done. And we're really pleased with everything, aren't we? We are very pleased. We've really maximised space upstairs with having the new bed and moving the old bed into the spare bedroom. So if we've got people staying over, it's perfect. Because we didn't want to get rid of that other bed because it's nice to it have is. a spare bedroom, isn't it? And if one of us are poorly or anything like that, um, want the other person can go in that bed and get the massive bed to themselves. Brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, I'm really pleased with that. It's very good. The storage underneath is a little uh, added bonus too. And then the bikes, I think they're excellent. We've got the storage all sorted. The garden's looking really nice, ready for summer. And um, we just need some nice weather now. I was going to have a little cycle tonight. But yeah, looking out there now, I probably won't be. We'll see what happens with the weather. Uh, but we will do a bike ride soon. And we'll take you for a bit of a cycle around uh, some of the local area. We've got some lovely scenery around here, the Staffordshire Moorlands. And uh, so we'll take you around for a bit of a cycle. We normally go like, on an evening, don't we, as well? Yeah, we do like we like an evening cycle so sometimes we'll take you along with us yeah especially with the later nights now it's not getting dark till like gone eight o'clock it's ideal really because we'll be at home have some tea and then we'll head out and have a cycle ride you know and burn a few calories and yes i know some people are going to be like you're cheating with the electric bikes for us though if they were just normal bikes we wouldn't kind of have the motivation to just go out all the time on them with the electric bikes we're still burning calories uh, a lot actually but um it helps you along and you can just cover more miles I, i'd rather go and do like a 10 mile trip in an hour and see more than just cycle like two miles and you know be pedaling loads to be honest we're probably burning the same amount of calories um, as we would be on normal bikes with the distances that we're covering so really pleased with that keeps us fit keeps us healthy and uh, thanks for joining us for another update here on the channel in terms of what's next we've got a lot of travel plans over on theme park worldwide with some of these travel plans that we've got there may be a few attractions and things that we're going to cover on this channel as well um, but stay tuned you know lots to look forward to some more home vlogs, some cycling, some different tourist attractions, especially over summer that I really want to get ticked off in the UK. And we'll take you all along from. But uh, there we go. Thanks for joining us here on the Sandbrook Adventures. Uh, we really do appreciate your support as always. And uh, of course, stay tuned to both channels for lots of new videos very soon. Thank you very much for watching and, and have, have your own adventures. adventures. Goodbye. <laughs>